Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing today of this adorable bear family um, and also the baby bear that goes with the family. And I also want to do a quick comparison between this style of bear and the one of my original timber top bears from the early 90s and just look at the differences, especially in size. So yeah, let's go ahead and get these open. I think I'm going to start with the baby. Here's the box. See, it's this baby bear. And then it doesn't uh, have the family name or stories or anything on it. Here we are. So you see the cockpit there, and then I think the bottle should have been up there, like that. So, yep, you've got a cot, and it looks like it's one of the rocky ones. Yep, cot, little bottle. Little baby bottle. And then the little baby figure. So he's got um, jointed arms so he can move his arms. Oh, and his legs so he can sit down, move his arms, and his head as well. He's really cute. I love his little face. He's adorable. Um, it's falling out of his trousers though. So pull those up. Yep, so here's the, the little baby figure and we'll go over the names in the family um, stuff in a second. And then if we move on to, oh, got the little catalogue as well, I think this is the same, I think I've already seen this one. Um, slightly older catalogue I think because these are slightly older products. And then if we move on to the main uh, family, so you can see you've got father, mother, sister and brother and what I love about this one is brother comes with a little hamburger um, I don't often see family sets come with any accessories so I thought it was really interesting that he comes with this little burger and I think that's because um, he seems to have become quite a, a favorite of the marketing team and he's always eating something or being greedy and I just absolutely love him um, it's part of the reason that I ended up choosing to get this family because I just love him, he's so greedy and he just reminds me of me with his um, constant obsession with food. He's, they're very, very cute. So this box, we've just got Bear Family. And again, this one has the map on the back. Um, again, no, no family details on the bottom like they used to with the flare boxes. And then we've got Freya and I think the baby is called Cram on the top. I love this little like leafy um, detail and the, and the woody patterning on the box. I think that's very cute, but I do miss the old um, blue flare boxes. So yeah, let's get these guys open. Also, how good are these scissors? Like they come with this little protective shield so you can um, try not and cut yourself. Let's do this carefully. Ooh. I think there's just the one bit of tape. There's um, oh, the catalogue's dying to get out. Um, I'll pop that to one side. Yeah. <laughs> you can see his little tail poking out the back. Um, get them out. Oh. Yep, Let's pop that over there. I love this um, packaging, the, the scenery in the background. I think it's really, really uh, nice. And then look at all their little tails poking out the back. <laughs> so cute. Um, so we're gonna have to cut them loose. Get the scissors again. Oh, this is always so fiddly. I hate doing this. Ooh, I'm sorry, you will be free. Now I should be able to release 
So let's start with Dad. So, oh, look at his tiny little bow tie. Oh, is that, yeah, look at his little bow tie. So cute. I love his um, brown, on, brown on brown ensemble. He's uh, really rocking that look. Little tail poking out the back. They're so, oh, I just never get over how soft they are when they're brand new out of the packet. Um, yep, so here's Father. Pop him there. And then, let's get Mother. It's Free Mother. Ooh. Ooh. And here's Mother. I love this dress. The pattern is so pretty. I really love these, the florals, colourful florals on the white. A little tail. It's got this lovely orange trim on the collar and the apron is sewn in and I much prefer this because then if it, it can't come untied like the other ones and then they were so fiddly to tie back on which I shall show you on my timber top there. But I like it much better when the aprons are sewn in so you don't have to deal with the uh, trying to retie them. So that's Mother. Sister. Ooh. Ooh. Her legs are all um, askew. Put those back. So here's Sister. She's wearing a really cute little summery dress. I love the bow on the front. Once again, it's nice um, floral patterning on white with the little orange accents again. Very cute, and I love the little scallop lace around the uh, edge here. The sister. Ooh. Sister, stand up, please. There we go. And finally, brother. Oh, he's, he's trapped in by his burger. I'm going to destroy, end up destroying the box now. There we go. Oh, and the burger fell out. Oh, it's got a bite taken out of it. Uh, the burger fell out too. So stand him up. Again with this lovely orange and brown theme. He's got the very traditional brother kind of overall dungaree look without a shirt on underneath. This reminds me a lot of um, the, the much older figure sets actually. Little tail, um, and they, I see they've used ribbon um, instead of elastic because um, on some of my older figures where these straps are elastic, over time the elastic wears and degenerates and um, it gets really, really, really stretched out so I've had to do a lot of little sewing jobs to take in um, the overall so that they're not hanging down by their waist. Yet yeah, his brother, and then we'll take a little look at his burger, which I'm sure he, he is devastated to have lost. Look, he's got a little bite taken, well, quite a big bite taken out of it, actually. He's half finished it already. Yeah, I just think those are really cute that it comes with a little accessory. Um, there's no way for him to hold it, though, which is a little sad, but, you know, we can imagine. We can imagine him having a snack. Nom, nom, nom on that burger. So yes, let's, let's clear up and get these more central. So let's put this nice display behind them. It helps show them up a bit better on camera too. And let's talk about family name and conundrums. So on the box, obviously, as we saw, it just says bear family. So whenever I get a new family, obviously I, I want to read their little bios and find out all their names because I think that's really cute. So I've got the official uh, catalog here and this gives their names and the surname Petite. So we've got Father Patrick, um, Mother Margaret, Sister Andromeda, Brother Piers, and Baby Brother Jason. However, this then got me thinking, oh, I already have a Petite Bear figure. I've got Pete Petite, the little postman. So he must be part of their family. Um, and I got excited because I only have Pete Petit and he, he's all alone in Sylvania so he's going to have a little family to be an uncle of. 
So here's Pete Petit, the postman. Um, and yeah, he's really cute. I love that. But if we take off his little, his little hat, excuse me, Pete, he can see he is in fact an imposter. Or are they the imposters? See, if we look at this, it's, they're different. Same family, name, but different um, markings and different mould used. So then I got very confused and I'm probably a bit sad and I, I get a bit too into looking at all these mysteries. Obviously they've got the different hands because Pete the Postman is um, flair error and obviously um, Patrick Petit, if that is your real name, uh, is from the Epoch era. So yeah, the hands are going to be different but they look like completely different families. Sorry, Pete, we'll put your hat back on now. I don't want your little ears to get cold. Put that back on. So I did some digging. And then I did a little bit more looking through my collection. And I found Mr. Finley Osborne. Now, Finley Osborne um, came with the fish and chip van. And his nose is a bit of a funny colour because I got him second hand and his nose had completely rubbed off. So this was a uh, me gently mm, painting it back on Jobby and it doesn't look doesn't look the best but um, it's fine it's passable um, but haha -ha, we have a match in terms of mold colorings and ear shapes um, obviously the hand and thinly again is from the flare era so the hands are different but these petite bears look a heck of a lot more like an Osborne bear than a petite so if I get all three, if I get all three and put them together. Sorry, Pete, taking your hat off again. Let me move you guys over there a second. So yes, to me, they definitely look more like an Osborne than a Petite. Though the coloration between these two is slightly different, however, I don't know whether that's because Finley is a bit worn with age, and obviously we've just taken Patrick out of the box, so he's all brand new and shiny. So to add to my confusion, in the catalogue, these new bears are called Petite and have the Petite family uh, names and descriptions. But on the Sylvanian Storekeepers website, they're called the Osborne family and they have completely different names and different descriptions. So I did a bit more digging and a lot of looking through the Sylvanian family's wiki. And we can see that Flair released both a petite family with the descriptions and names that these new bears have been given and Pete belongs to that family. And Flair also released an Osborne bear family, which Finley is a part of, with the Osborne names and the Osborne family descriptions. So it really is a mystery whether these should be Petites or Osbornes. Now on the Japanese YouTube channel, this little guy features quite a lot and they call him Piers, which is Piers Petite. So I'm gonna say that they officially are the Petite family, but they're the Osborne mold with the original Petites names and bios. And whilst that's all very confusing, I thought it was quite interesting and I wonder if there's any other families where the bios have been switched around like that in the re-releases. I couldn't find any. I only had a very quick look though, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. I mean, either way, they're still going to be very well loved and very welcome in my village. I just thought that was so peculiar because I want to know what I should be calling them. So I guess I'm going to stick with the petite first names and bios and then maybe um, I'll just change the surname to Osborne so that they fit in with Finley. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Pete, alone again. Maybe one day we'll find some, some additional family for you. Also, one final point to make that I thought was quite funny. Both the Petite bio and the Osborne bio have him down as a greedy little food lover and I just thought that was quite funny. So that, that has stayed throughout. So the last thing I wanted to do was compare this kind of newer bear mould to my 
uh, early to mid 90s timber top. So if we send Finley and Pete on their merry way now that they've helped us to demonstrate that conundrum and welcome in Mrs. Rose Timbertop um, and here you can see the uh, apron debacle this one is absolutely shredded and frayed from all the times I was trying to do it back up I think I've double knotted it now so it hopefully never come undone again but yes this is Rose Timbertop and she is a completely different bear mold and if you put them together she's so much taller than him so she makes him look like a child figure <laughs> um, so this I think this is um, I don't know if it's got an official name but I think it's usually called like the big bear mold and this is the little bear mold and I just found it really interesting how much bigger these older figures are They, they look so different as well, so like if, if you look at the faces, obviously Patrick is absolutely adorable, he's a very cute bear and Rose is beautiful in her own right but she, she's much more realistic looking, like if you look at the muzzles as well she's got a much more pronounced muzzle and she to me just looks much more like a, like a real bear than Mr. Petite slash Osborne does. I like both of them, I think they're both um, really lovely in their own way um, but I just wonder why they moved away from this kind of bear mold to this kind of bear mold not that I'm complaining because there's lots of these bears so it's not like they're um, they only did one family or anything there's quite a few families of this type of mold um, but I just found that really interesting that yeah completely different style of bear and I just I like how big these are um, they feel like like a big brown bear should and especially when you have them like next to a mole or a mouse character they're just so much bigger if you look at her feet absolutely huge do a let's do a little foot comparison how much bigger her paws are than his um but yeah it's just another thing that i found interesting how the bears um have evolved over the years We should probably wrap it up here before Piers gets very annoyed that we're keeping him from his dinner. So yes, thank you for watching if you made it all the way through um, and thank you for entertaining my uh, maverick ramblings of someone who cares a little bit too much about the family names and bios. Let me know your favourite bear family down in the comments because I'd be really interested to know and yeah, hopefully see you again next time. Bye bye! <laughs>